All right. Hello, everybody. Crypto Vin here, Crypto Vin YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, like, and share as I'm just getting the channel going. I'm trying to get those subscriber count up. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments or if you'd like me to review a video or how to GPU mine it, a project, please let me know in the comment section. I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway, so let me know what you think about that. Give me some feedback. What giveaways do you like? So today I want to talk about Rio, a privacy coin, uh, and their uh, algorithm, Kryptonite GPU. So here I'm on their website. I'm not going to do a full overview of the project. I kind of already did that um, with my mining video of Rio, and I will put that uh, as a link in the video itself here at the end. So if you're interested in learning how to mine it, brief discussion about the project, uh, click on the link and you'll have that information. So today uh, I'm on Rio's website, riocurrency.com. I'll put that in the description part of the video. And we're going to scroll down to their technical specifications. And here you can see their algorithm is Kryptonite GPU, FPGA ASIC botnet resistant. Let's click on that and learn about Kryptonite GPU. It's designed from scratch, unique. Kryptonite GPU is designed from scratch by Rio developers, PsychoCrypt and FireIce underscore UK. Being the first in crypto mining industry, Algo that utilizes FP32 math. Kryptonite GPU is the first Kryptonite family algorithm that performs relatively same on both AMD and NVIDIA cards across relatively same lineups. Brought by XMR Stack developers, XMR Stack is the most popular miner for CN-based coins that are mostly oriented on GPU mining years of experience with XMR Stack development and algorithm studies to lead to it to making an algorithm for miners and miners themselves. So when you're mining, XMR Stack is the uh, miner that you want to use for Kryptonite GPU. Active user support and guiding, Kryptonite GPU has built around itself an active and growing user community that share results, report statistics, and give a lot of valuable feedback. It has proven to be very flexible in tuning and well-performing across various GPU models, even old ones with limited VRAM capacity. And here you can click and learn about XM Stack. So what problems can a GPU-oriented mining algorithm encounter? FPG, FPGA is a repro reprogrammable logic circuit device. It, its main difference from all other devices is the incredible software adaptability and flexibility in memory hard algorithms. FPGA can be con configured to access memory 100 times faster than a CPU, for example. Solution. Kryptonite GPU utilizes FP32 math at a single precision that performance relies on a physical core count and not relying on memory for performance. So you don't need any memory or very little memory in your GPU uh, to mine this algorithm. Botnet CPU mining is a niche for various malware, software, and user hardware abuse. Its mining costs reach near zero values, harming markets of mining coins and getting away profits from GPU miners. Also, CPU miner algorithm, algorithms are suitable for VM and data center mining. Solution, CNGPU utilizes FP32 math that is too slow even on high-end multi-core CPUs to be taken into consideration. ASIC devices are mass-produced special devices that achieve maximum energy efficiency ratios and lowest possible software flexibility. One ASIC device can replace dozens and sometimes hundreds of GPUs on some algorithms. <clears throat> Solution. GPUs are designed for FP32 computing so they can already be considered as an ASICs for a CN GPU. Large corporations such as Google do a lot of floating point calculations. So if a FP32 ASIC was developed, they would pay much more than the entire crypto market is worth to replace their deep learning GPU farms. 
Unequal outcomes. Some mining algorithms are better on AMD, some on NVIDIA. Some can't be used or are heavily crippled on lower-end GPUs or GPUs with small memory capacity due to alg algorithm memory restrictions. Some heavily rely in performance on additional memory software. Tweaking. Solution. Performance in CN GPU relies on GPU physical core count and its clock in megahertz. It does not rely on memory performance. Type and tweaks and works on GPUs with 2 to 3 gigabytes of VRAM. Meet the concept of fair GPU mining. Kryptonite GPU is the first in kryptonite crypto industry mining algorithm that is designed to use floating point math at single precision, precision FP32. It was developed from scratch by Rio Currency team. It is ASIC botnet FPGA resistant algorithm that relies heavily on GPU core comp compute performance and puts memory performance amount type on a secondary place. FP32 is a universal math that is def defined by technical standard IEEE 754. It is being used for GPU computations and benchmarks for over a decades. FLOPS performance relies on chip physical core count and its operating frequency and voltage, making both AMD and NVIDIA rather similar performance among various lineups and making FPGA ASIC CPU devices economically useless. FLOPS performance of a chip is a public information and by using performance in, at single precision, you can roughly estimate hash rate in Kryptonite GPU. Implementing an algorithm based on floating point arithmetic gives miners with low or slow G memory GPUs and powerful core possibilities to not be penalized and participate in mining relatively to their real computational speed, not memory restrictions. Here's some frequently asked questions. So here's the technical explanation, explanation of the mining algorithm. The heating is too high. Is it possible to make this algo run more cool? Being GPU core dependent means that this algorithm will be very sensitive to overclocking and increased core voltage. Since core is the biggest part of the device's TDP, the electronic consumption and thus hash rate will heav heavily rely on your GPU's overclock profile. Do you have a DAG file or any other memory requirement? There is, there is no DAG file, a file that is generated every mining epoch that increases from epoch to epoch, or other memory size requirements. There is no need for memory, tweaking, flashing, or overclocking memory. Do you plan on improve the proof of work? Yes. The dev, dev team plans on to further improve this mining algorithm in future. Though initial version has proven to be good in many senses, there is still room for improvement. Is the code licensed? How can it be used and does anybody use it? The GPU code is licensed under GPL version 3 and CPU code under the BSD license. It is currently being used by Rio Currency and Equilibria. So that's another project you can look into. It's Equilibria. They also use Kryptonite GPU. So there you have it. And here's some mining pools and some tools here you can look at when you get a chance. And there's also... If you want to look into the technical explanation of the algorithm, that's where you go. So the, basically what you want to get out of this is that it, has a, it doesn't use any or little memory in your GPU cards. So you could use cards like 3 gigabyte uh, cards, which I have myself. I have three 3 gigabytes and three 6 gigabyte Zotac 1060 NVIDIA, which is, which is great. Uh, for me, and uh, definitely something that if you do have, you want to look into if you want to mine, in my opinion, and it, this is only my opinion though, look into it yourself, make your own decisions. So what I found here was also is they have a great chart here for GPU overclocking. <clears throat> Here's the CN, Kryptonite GPU hash rate reference for you. So this is a reference you can start off at. This person has done. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can check it out yourself. 
They have the different models for AMD here, RX 470, 480, et cetera. And here they have NVIDIA GPU table. And so I would be doing these 1066 gigabytes, 1063 gigabytes here. And you can click on here and get that information. But as you can see, this is the hash rate. And this is the watts. So you kind of have to tweak it. If you're using a lot of wattage, you're going to be burning a lot of electricity. And you kind of have to observe and, and reconcile the pros and cons of doing that. You're going to be making uh, less because your expenses are going to be higher, but you kind of want that happy medium between hash rate and power usage. So let's click on here and see what kind of hash rate and overclocking they're talking about. So this is the thread for the 1063 gigabyte mining kryptonite GPU. And it says here, you can see the core is zero. So you're not using any memory and your hash rate's about 767. And here your, your core is 150, 830 hash rate. XMR stack configuration. So you want to take a look at this and tweak your overclock settings and get that sweet spot of electricity usage and hash rate. So it's a good starting point, but you definitely would want to tweak it. And you can check this out when you get a chance. Here's the different overclock settings the different results. So you get the idea, depending on the, the card you have, these are the, the ones you want to click on here and here. Here's the 1066 gigabytes. Then they have the chart. At top of the chart here, it says there's the stock hash rate and wattage, max hash rate and wattage, and the reference links. So there's one more thing I want to show you. And it's just, go, it's just showing the historical hash rate for Kryptonite GPU and which coins currently using Kryptonite GPU, Rio, and Equilibria. And it talks a little bit about it, short info about Kryptonite GPU. And I will leave this, again, the link in the description of the video. And here's Miner supporting Kryptonite GPU algorithm. And here's XMR stack, XMR rig AMD, XMR, rig, NVIDIA, etc. I use simple mining and I have on my video I use XMR stack. And I'll leave that link in the video here itself. So that's going to be it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, are you using uh, Kryptonite GPU? Are you mining it? Are you mining Rio uh, or Equilibrium? Let me know in the comment section. Do you like the project? Uh, have you mined it? Are you mining it? Again, leave it in the comment section. I'd be curious to find out. And if you have any other projects you want me to look into, please leave it in the comment section. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, happy...